Hi everybody, my name is Chuck. I'm the Desert Dude from Phoenix, Arizona. And what I have here in front of me is a vintage 1964 Topper Toys Johnny 7 One Man Army. As you can see, this is the original box. And this was produced in 1964 by the Topper Toy uh, Company and they were a division of Deluxe Reading Corporation. Deluxe Reading Corporation made a lot of toys that were sold on the top shelves of grocery stores in the 50s and 60s. Then they came out with Topper Toys to sell their line of toys in toy stores. Now, this happens to be a boxed Johnny 7, and I'm going to flip the top open so you can take a look in it, and I am going to take it out of the box. Now, this one happens to be complete with all the missiles and most of the bullets. The original Johnny 7s came with 12 bullets, and I happen to get 7 with this one. Now, I'm going to take it out of the box and set it up, but I'm not going to fire it. And the reason being, I already have two other videos here on YouTube showing the Johnny 7 in operation. So, if you feel like it, uh, go ahead and take a look. Okay, I'm going to take the rifle out. I'm going to set it up on its tripod. And I'll explain this rifle because this is one beauty. Okay, and I also have all of the original missiles. And we'll just set the box up behind it. Of course, I've got the red anti-tank missile. And that goes into the side launcher here. Okay. And then I have the armor piercing missile, which I will place in the front launcher. There is what they call the anti bunker missile. And then this is the grenade. And the grenade fits on the launcher. I am not going to spring load it onto the launcher because there's a powerful spring here and the grenade is held on by a, a metal latch and they have a tendency to chew up the missiles and uh, if you do find a Johnny 7 out there somewhere with the missiles don't be alarmed if you find that they're somewhat chewed up it's a common trait with these grenades and um, it's just a fact of life now this is a fully functioning Johnny 7 with no problems whatsoever Usually, you will find some problems with these because they were played with very hard. This was the most popular selling toy in 1964. And it has seven functions. One of them being is the removable cap type pistol. This pistol is in pristine condition. There is nothing wrong with it. It has the rear sights. It has the front sights that are unbroken. And also, it has the cap firing mechanism, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's clean. There's no tarnish. It is in pristine condition. I was extremely lucky to find one in this condition. And then I have the original bullets. And the original bullets are uh, white with some gray marbling in them. Um, all too often the missiles and bullets are missing so you can actually find reproductions of these bullets and missiles on eBay but the reproduction bullets are like a solid white and while the reproduction missiles are good and I've purchased several of them for other Johnny 7's that I've had they are solid where these original missiles are hollow and they shoot farther okay if you'll notice the stock here it has chrome lettering on it. This is probably the nicest one I've ever seen in the condition it's in. There's no scrapes or scratches on this. Most of the time the chrome is missing from here. Um, and then let's try the, uh, the Tommy gun. And this is probably one of the best sounding Tommy guns that I've run across too. I'll do it again. You can hear it spring-loaded. You can do rapid fire, or you can do short bursts. 
Now, what's a little different about this gun from the others that you'll see, take a close look at the bipod here, okay? You'll see there's extra plastic on the side here. This is a variation that I ran across, and I've, I've seen several of these before. For some reason, Topper discontinued them, making them like this. Uh, I think this gives more support to, to the bipod. Uh, most of the Johnny 7s you'll see won't have this flange on either side here. And just for fun, let's take a look at the back side of the gun because whenever when you see these, they're usually not showing the back side. A lot of people ask me, why do you make these videos and post them on YouTube? Well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I do it so we can preserve what's left of American history and what I mean by that is as time goes on these toys become scarcer and scarcer to find and I think somebody needs to do a video video chronicle of these items for future generations to see I don't know how long YouTube will last but I think it's a great medium to show these items and there's another reason my place is pretty small and most of the toys that I have end up going in storage because I don't have room. So this way I video the toys and when I feel like checking them out I can go on YouTube and check them out instead of running down the storage to dig them out. So that concludes our demonstration of a vintage 1964 Johnny 7 One Man Army by the Topper Toy Corporation. Uh, like I said, I have two other videos here on YouTube showing um, the Johnny 7 in operation. So if you get a moment, take a look at those. And I want to thank you for viewing my video.